No. Yep. here. Thought I would share some fun with resonator, homemade resonator guitars. Uh, probably have seen this one possibly on YouTube. Uh, it's listed under uh, roasting pan resonator. Won't, won't go to the trouble to show you the, the top of the roasting pan. You, more details on that particular video. Uh, finished the, the bottom half of uh, the roasting pan. It's somewhat still in the work, but uh, I'd like to share with you the, the other half. This is the bottom half. Used an old uh, classic neck here again. Uh, nice features about this one. Uh, we have a ceiling fan cover here. And the handle from a pasta server. And sink, sink drains, strainer drains if you will. And stayed with the spatula tailpiece which worked really well. Uh, the neat feature on this guitar is we the resonator itself is a Angel Food bunt pan if you will, aluminum, thin aluminum and this is a traditional store-bought uh, biscuit style uh, bridge and saddle here. Uh, turned out really well. It's amazing the, the resonance you get out of a in this case a baking dish. Cake pan. Tuned to an open tuning here today. Uh, if you ever attempt one of these, um, a Luan from Home Depot in this case, some of the same features on the other video with getting this, this piece here uh, in between your 12th fret, uh, 12th fret and the bridge and the nut, the re relationship there. I explained all of that on that video. Some points here that uh, This is your typical aluminum cake pan found in a uh, flea market or garage sale. This is your store bought on um, Stuart McDonnell, the bridge and saddle assembly. There's just a little spot face there on the on the bottom side to keep keep the bridge from moving. But if you find one of these, they have to be thin aluminum, not cast, but you can hear that they'll have a good a good ring to them. If they sustain a ring, there that will probably be a good resonator. It has to be one piece. There's some versions of this that come in two pieces. They're not suitable. So some points of interest. Just cut a hole in your Luan here to let this hole just slightly smaller than this lip. This sits right down inside, and the string, the tension of the strings, holds it on the uh, the bridge on top of the resonating cone in this case. main thrust of this whole video here though is to take in this case I found an, at a flea market a damaged highly damaged uh, Takamani uh, 12 string C guitar was in beautiful shape other than the ma major problem it had and I'll show you here in a minute the bridge had separated completely from because of over tension on the strings it had been stored in a uncontrolled environment had a major fracture in the soundboard here uh, we had to go in and cut cut this out the there was separation here on the substructure uh, below the bridge so as far as I was concerned this guitar was uh, almost useless and I'm attempting here to make a resonator 12 string resonator in this case you can at one point these are uh, this Ryobi uh, high-speed um, uh, well, with a cutter here you can just pivot this you have to use the same point right here has to be exactly where the old center of the old bridge it was so that's very critical keeping that point there so keep that in mind if you ever attempt this uh, let's put some of this away 
show you the front of this guitar. Some of the some of the features here that we went through. Of course, we cut this large hole in here, added a substructure. Uh, here again, my my end goal is to keep this uh, a 12 string, a lot of tension. This is probably overkill, but you ne you never know. So I had to put this basically this chine beam, if you will, down the center to carry the load from from the uh, the headstock all the way back to the tailpiece. So we've cut this hole here, and you have to cut back this bracing here to make room for the the ring that I'll show you here shortly. And these these pieces and parts can be purchased from this is the cover. They can be purchased uh, on Stuart McDonald and other, other websites for guitar parts. For those of you that may not be familiar, this is a spider style uh, resonating cone. And here this is the spider itself. And of course a bridge here that uh, I have yet to finish. This is a ring that I, out of half inch plywood, it's uh, oak. I would might recommend a higher density uh, multi-layer um, maple if you can find it. But this cone will be eventually glued and, and clamped in place here. I have some, some little pieces here that will hold it in place. I'll show you if I can get, to get all this together. These want to be cut just, just slight interference fit with the, uh, with the ring here. Let me find this the right position for this ring. Here we go. Come around here. This may work a little better, possibly. But it fit at one time. <laughs> there we go. Not going together the way I had planned. There we go. It's a tight fit, believe me. That'll kind of. These will be glued in permanently eventually, and they'll support the bottom of this ring, and they will also allow for some sound to travel from the front of the front of the guitar to the uh, to the back of the guitar, and it will be part of the sound hole as well. There we go. Now this uh, spider assembly fits right down in this ring. We had to lower this considerably uh, because of the action uh, of a, a typical acoustic guitar here is very flat. This angle is almost flat, so there, this whole assembly had to be lowered considerably as opposed to a traditional uh, resonator or dobro style guitar. If you'll notice here, there is, there's a steeper angle on this neck and you almost see a wedge form here and that is to allow the higher elevation of this of the bridge assembly on a on a uh, uh, resonator guitar here again we're going from a acoustic guitar to a resonator style so one of the main problems I had and it's part of the learning curve is all this has to be lowered to keep to keep your action uh, low enough if you're playing fret style guitar uh, as opposed to say maybe slide guitar or uh, um, bluegrass style which you may want a higher uh, action on your strings so this whole whole thing could probably mount in that case to the top surface here again the cover itself would, would come down in here and be tightened and fastened after all this assembly is glued in but uh, and you could go with a traditional tailpiece for six strings. In this case, I'll have another tailpiece that would accommodate 12 strings, and uh, it, it should work out. Like I say, this is a work in progress, and uh, hopefully, when I finish it, and if it works, I'll <laughs> get, we'll have do another video. But uh, hope you've enjoyed a little uh, technical stuff on how to convert a damaged or useless guitar into a resonator or Dobro style guitar. And I'll finish up later. Thank you.